Hello, I'm Neve Owens. Welcome to Queensland Sport and Athletics Centre, where the victory will be looking to continue that good form today. Melbourne may have a hat-trick of wins, but Brisbane sit just two points behind them on the table. Yes, ready to rock and roll. Bit of a change of direction now, boys. Let's head back into the Super Rugby archives with Fox Sports News rugby correspondent Jared Middleton. Gerardo, what have you got for us? Manly have maintained their core roster, but there'll be some changes to the front row after the loss of club stalwarts Brent Kite, George Rose and Joe Nullivau. Steve Owens, a weather update. Good afternoon to you. Thanks, we'll go perfect football conditions here at Amy Park. It's dry, it's still. It's sitting at around 21 degrees at the moment, but it is Melbourne, so we'll keep our eye on it across the afternoon. Great to see Sydney FC's supporters group, The Cove, in today, as well as Melbourne's blue and white brigade that you can hear in the background. And despite that A-League game last night, the pitch is in beautiful condition. Looks a lot like a carpet, Wilco. Indeed it does. The Sky Blues are unbeaten in the five games they've played at Parramatta Stadium. Two of those were against the Wanderers, but the coach isn't reading too much into that record. I think that's way too early to say that we've got a great record there, but uh, if we can continue that form uh, at Parramatta, we'll, we'll be happy with that. While their record at this venue is good, their away form of late is not, with the Sky Blues winning just one of their last 15 A-League games away from home. Alcock, tremendous game. I hope he's got some breath left as we try to talk to him through Neve. I'm pretty sure it's Chris Alcock I've got here with me, Steve. Chris, two tries today. Be honest, you were having a great time out there, weren't you? Oh, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I always, always enjoy playing in the mud. Don't really know what's going on, but you just have, you just start there enjoying it. That's all right, because the rest of us didn't either. What kind of a game plan do you bring on a day like this against a team with as strong a forward pack as the Marlins have? Such heat on the weekend, the Kookaburras might need a bit of help. So we arranged a backup and sent Neve Owens down to learn how to play hockey. Neve, how'd you go? Steph, I'm going to have to let you make up your mind on that one yourself <laughs> in just a few minutes' time. You can give me a mark out of ten. Just remember, it was my first time with a hockey stick, so be kind. <laughs> the Kookaburras on one of their rest days, Steph, welcomed 100 junior hockey players from across Victoria to the hockey centre here, and they gave them a bit of a hockey lesson, went through a few drills, and I thought, hey, that's too good an opportunity to miss. So Kieran Govers was good enough to spend some time with me. He had a tough job. But I did my best, and this is how it played out. Kieran, I'm Neve. Hey, how are you? So I think it's safe to say that's a no, Steph. There will be no need for me to don the Kookaburras jersey for the rest of this week. I think I'll leave it to the professionals, especially on an afternoon like this. Still 35 degrees pitch side, Simon Orchard. Thank you for having a chat with us. Obviously, you're not out there playing today. How is that injury? Uh, injury's coming along well. Sky Blues fans are looking for some good news and Farina says their captain Alessandro Del Piero will play tomorrow night. Fabrizio Sonchen, your team finished that half very strongly. What did you make of that first 45? Oh, we're, li we're living a little bit dangerously. Um, they've got a lot of space behind us and we don't have a lot of space so we've, we've got to go in there now and try to create some stuff. Thanks Fab, best of luck in the second half. Thank you. So at halftime here at Amy Park, it is Melbourne victory one, Sydney FC one. Well, we had two cracking semi-finals last week. They had everything, goals, penalties, extra time. So while we've got a few minutes in the break, let's check out both semi-finals. The Chiefs have made it through to their second ever Super Rugby final with a barnstorming Sonny Bill Williams leading the way. Sonny Bill was in fine form as the Chiefs got the better of their provincial rivals, the Crusaders, 20 points to 17. So with the New Zealand finalists decided, our attention turned to South Africa with the table-topping Stormers hosting the Sharks. But the happy faces are all green and gold down on the field. Let's go sideline to Neve Owens. Thanks, Steph. I've got the two winning Australian coaches with me on the sideline. Graeme Reid, let's start with you. Acting head coach this week, but that was a stressful afternoon for you. How do you rate that Australian performance? Yeah, look, what I was really happy about was that we actually had to battle today, you know, and, uh, and I thought we, we dominated. I think the, uh, the, the guys did really well. Showers scudding across Sydney, a bit of sunshine now. A challenge for the players and perhaps for Neve Owens. Neve, you're prepared, I hope. Absolutely, Steve. It's actually the sun is out down here on the sideline now. It's looking not too bad. I was starting to think it was us bringing the rain with us to Wallara Oval every week. We hit a top of 17 degrees a little bit earlier. It's sitting at a chilly 14 degrees now, and there are still some showers. 
showers around. There's no wind to speak of and the pitch is in pretty good nick, all things considered. So it may come down to a test of which team copes with the wet conditions better, Steve. Two great guests here on the sideline today. We've got the Bledisloe Cup joining us, which is very exciting, and Parramatta's water boy as well, who you might know as the Waratah and Wallabies hooker. Tatafu, it's great to be joining you here at Parramatta. Thanks for the invite, Neve. Now, you're not playing today because you're on Wallabies duties, but it has been a long time between matches for some of the Aussie players. How are the combinations coming together? Well, I'll tell you what, the uh, selection for the Wallaby squad this year has been paramount. This week's lineup of the good, bad, and ugly. Neve is particularly excited. It is. Yeah. Get in me time. Neve Owens, you're up first. This is Dunedin, boys. In the middle of winter, not the ideal time to lose your pants, but Ow. couple that humiliation with what was to come. Security were obviously struggling, so it was rooster to the rescue in Dunedin. <laughs> it's a giant chicken. You'd want to be very careful where you put your hands in executing that tackle. Are you kidding me?